Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, a sports commentator has said that uh, men who pretend to be women and then compete against women, trans athletes, is unfair against genuine real women. They've gone through male puberty, they have male muscle strength, male musculature, they have the male twitch response, they have male uh, bone structure, bone density, so many advances. Uh, they can process oxygen much higher, things like that. There is such a physical and bio biological and biochemical difference between men and women that even a man who goes through and who's taking suppressants for this and hormones for that and whatever still has a natural advantage and it is unfair. It, it, it could be called cheating. And I completely, 100% agree with that. And I've done back loads of videos where I say that men should not be allowed to compete against women, even if they like to call themselves a woman. They are not a woman, and it's wrong. The only problem is, the person who's saying this is Lance Armstrong, who once was a very good cyclist, and then he started taking performance-enhancing substances and became just as much of a cheat as these men who compete against women. So the argument is sound, but probably not the best person to push and promote the argument. I'm going to take a very quick look at this. Um, it, it, I do completely agree with him, but really, can we, could we have someone else saying it and not one of the world's biggest cheats? Hey, here goes. Right, so the Stars on Mars. Now, this is uh, it's like a talking programme, a talking heads programme. People come on and yabber. Uh, Lance Armstrong was on that, and he sparked this backlash after declaring transgender athletes should compete in their own category. He said the conversation on the subject of trans uh, transgender athletes happened when Lance, 51, started telling UFC fighter Ronda Rousey that he did a podcast last month. Uh, and the, the, what's going to come there comes into it. So I'll just go straight in. So Lance Armstrong set off a firestorm when he said he thought transgender athletes should compete in their own category on Monday's edition of Stars on Mars. The conversation on the subject of transgender athletes happened when Lance, 51, started telling UFC fighter Ronda Rousey, 36, that he did a podcast last month and that the podcaster wanted to ask him about the transgender athletes in sports. He said, listen, one of my most key employees, they're transitioning, he said. I have no problem with that. I love it. Let's go. He said, and I said to the guy on the podcast, this is real simple. You want to transition? Let's do it. He said, you have your own category. We're going to have a whole new division. We celebrate you just like we celebrate everyone else. Let's go. What's unfair about that? Well, there was this massive backlash because of course this isn't about competing on a fair playing field no 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 no. these are really inadequate men and while they still have penises most of them are about that big they're incapable of beating men in a field of sport or a cycle whatever they whatever their sport is they're incapable of beating real men and so in order to feel good about themselves they have to compete against women so that they can beat the women real real women beat real women and uh, they go, oh, look, and then they go. They take home the cup. They take home the title. They take home the money. And they remove the opportunities from real women. Because ultimately, they hate women. They don't want to be women, but they hate women. They loathe women. And so the idea of competing in a category all filled with trans is that it would be exactly the same as competing in a room full of men. And they don't want that. Because it means that only one of them is going to win. And they all have to feel special and win. And they can only do that if they just keep competing against women in their sports. And that way, they all get to take a prize, don't they? They're very, very inadequate. And so the idea of a, of a trans category doesn't appeal at all. Because it's like, oh, we aren't going to win. Anyway, uh, the singer, Tinashe, she said... To me, I think we have to be care about, uh, take care about if you otherize people. It's not good for their mental health. Well, these people are mentally ill anyway, so it doesn't really matter much about their mental health. It may even improve it. Uh, do what, said Lance. Well, like otherize people, Tanashi said. Lance asked her what he meant, or what she meant. Uh, kind of like exclude them from the same spaces and places that everyone else is in. He says, we're not excluding anybody, said Lance. By the way, I sound like a right-wing lunatic, and I'm not. I'm the most liberal person. But from a sporting perspective, and in a confessional, Tanashi said she didn't think Lance should be a spokesman on the issue. Right? She's, um, and, well, hardly, because he's the cheat, so he can't really talk about it. Uh, Ariel Winter said, you're ostracising people who don't fit into the categories. They do. They've got their own category. 
mentally ill trans people. It's a category. You're born in a male body, you play against men. You're born in a female cop body, you play against women. It ain't hard. Uh, you might not agree with me and I might not agree with you, but that's okay, right? Lance said in a confessional, he said, and there's a lot of sensitive subjects and it's not just trans issues and trans in sports. It could be the ending of a you know a termination. It could be war. It could be, um, you can read the words. I can't say the YouTube's world rules. You can't say these things. Uh, it could be politics, anything, global warming. But if you can't feel safe to enter into the conversation, then we're all lost. Um, and then just other people talking about it. But it's the fact that he's coming out and saying, you know, oh, we've got to give trans people their own category in sport. And that way they're not competing against women. And I completely agree with it. But he's probably not the best person, as I say, to be pushing this agenda. Someone else, please. Someone else. Someone else who hasn't spent their entire lives cheating in their sport. That'd be great. Anyway, I'm going to round off and I'm going to come up, um, but I'm still agreeing with him in principle. Anyway, here goes. Now, I've done quite a few videos about trans sports uh, issues. And you have uh, Riley Gaines, the American swimmer, complaining about Leah Thomas. And uh, Leah Thomas goes in. He's not a very good swimmer when he comes against men. Uh, but he uh, he goes in with the women and he's done very well, thank you very much, beating all the women by a major amount. In fact, it's actually been shown that um, in, in uh, practice swims, he's actually faster than he is in the pool when he competes because he doesn't want to be seen to be too much ahead because he knows it would just be, um, well, questionable. Um, but Riley Gaines is up there and she's fighting and fighting and then she's getting abused. She's been beaten for it because she's saying that women should have their own category. It shouldn't be men shouldn't compete and it isn't just swimming you've got like i say uh, cycling everything and all the sports now are starting to see the the pushbacks there and that the actual physical danger but as i said and i've said it many times any woman who gets on a field of sport and there's a man competing in a physicality sport turns up walks away or sits on the front line or whatever and that's the you know the the starter calls it goes and all the women just stand there and let the man run or the male runner the male cyclist whatever it is go on his own male swimmer in the pool on his own go doesn't matter and then the others just go oh well you know wait for it to finish and then you jump in and have your own race easiest way of doing it isn't it anyway i shall stop there thank you very much for watching if you like what we've seen here on the channel do please hit the subscribe button ring that bell leave a like leave a comment please share the video and until next time stay safe stay well and remember it is cheating if you're a man competing against a woman it is cheating Bye.